you were reading some keys or a very aggressive downhill play. Can you talk about your style of play and what you were looking at that got you flying in the backfield? Yeah, so um, weeks prior, uh, I saw gaps that I could have hit, which I, you know, was probably a step slow or, um, you know, just didn't hit it right away. And, you know, watching film and watching this team, I watched, uh, you know, especially TCU last year play these guys. You just got to trigger, you know, you just got to go right away when you see it. So, I mean, first, uh, first play of the game, I saw that, uh, so the B gap was open and those guys my gap, so I just had to hit it. And I mean, that was kind of how the game started. And I think a lot of the guys did that too throughout the game. And I think that's why we played so well. Okay, so four years being a local guy, can you take us, give us 20 seconds on what happened over the last four years? Um, it's been a journey, you know, a lot of up and ups and downs, you know, got here uh, at the start of COVID. Um, and then, you know, we had that season about five games. Um, uh, me, you know, not, I didn't feel like I, was getting, I didn't get much playing time in those games, but I got, you know, uh, good experience with the guys. You know, I've had a lot of mentors on the way with coaches. Um, had four coaches my whole time here. Uh, you know, I had great mentors like Jordan Mosley, Nick Cross, and who's in the league. And I mean, it's, it's been an experience. You know, sophomore year, then we go to the Pinstripe Bowl. You know, whip up on Virginia Tech. Um, you know, my dad's school. Um, <laughs> but, you know, last year go to the, go get a bowl game again and uh, beat NC State. So I mean, you know, you see the trajectory that we're on. Um, you know, this season probably our numbers aren't the at the best or on that trajectory, but I mean, um, it, it could have been, it should have, should have been. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll like to see what happens next week. Yes. I mean, it uh, shows a lot of pride. You know, we did, we didn't quit when we were down. You know, especially to the number four team in the country. Um, shows that we can also you know play with the big guys. You know, everybody talks about the big three, um, but you know we're right there with them. I know that this season has been, hasn't been what we uh, wish that uh, wish it to be, but I mean. That was a pretty good game and uh, almost came through with it. Defensively, you guys held them to 0 of 6 on third down in the second half, just a touchdown. What was the difference defensively after intermission? I think that we uh, realized, you know, the game's in our grasp, you know. Um, we just got to lock in, you know, do our job. Everybody's got to do their job. And this is probably the best game that we played, you know, together as a defense, you know. Um, Nebraska was a good game, but, you know, we had some mess ups there. But, I mean, this this was a great defensive game. Um, offense, of course, had their they, a good game too. But, I mean, everyone's, uh, you know, Bought into the process and to the team. So, yeah. You led the team in tackles. Uh, did it mean more to you because of the senior day or Michigan? Um, you know, it, it meant a lot because uh, you know, it was senior day, my last day in the shell, playing with a uh, with them jersey with that jersey on in the shell. Um, it meant a lot about uh, it being Michigan though too. You know, I had a kind of rough game last year against Michigan, so I needed my get back really. So, um, you know, mindset going to the game was I had to have a big game. You know, I wanted to you know. Inflict pain, that's what I wanted to do, really. You know, not not anything dirty, but just, um, you know, that's my mindset when going out there. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it meant a lot, a lot to me, a lot to my, you know, brother, my senior brothers, and uh, we had a good game. As you guys search for this breakthrough win for this program, and you guys have gotten pretty close in the, I mean, the last few editions, how tough is it to still come up short? Um, it's hard, you know, man, but uh, we, we kind of beat ourselves today, you know. We, had, we gave them 11 points. We had uh, three turnovers, and we only got one takeaway. Um, so, I mean, we, we kind of beat ourselves. We play those guys, you can't do that. You got to, you know, beat them up from start to finish. And so, I mean, it's, it's rough, you know, having those games. Like last year this time, we played Ohio State, and we almost came out with one. And then today, we had Michigan, of course. But, I mean, it makes us, you know, it makes, it makes us realize that, you know, we're right there. We're, you know, just got to work a little bit harder, you know, watch a little more film, do a little more work in practice, and we'll be there. I know no, it's tough to think about on senior day um, for a lot of you guys. Um, but going forward for this program, what's it going to take? To, to break through in a game like this after, as you mentioned, just coming to a close time after time? Yeah, I think um, we have to, have to have the right mindset. We have to practice with that right mindset. You know, we had the most talent in the world. We had the same amount of talent as, you know, these ranked one, ranked four teams in the nation. But um, we don't practice. We don't play like it really in the game. You know, we, we got to we play kind of, you know, average SEC, you know, our record wise. But, um, you know, we just got to play to our potential. And if we do that, we have, you know, we could be anybody. When the defense is playing as well as you guys did in the second half, and giving the ball back to the offense is a little frustrating to see that they can't pull through. Um, I mean, it might be a little frustrating, but I bet it's you know kind of frustrating for the offense when we let a touchdown up. But um, I mean, we gotta get these, get, gotta get the offense you know good field position. Sometimes they you know they were right at the one yard line. I mean, it was a good punt, but they were right at the one yard line uh, that at the last drive, and then. Um, before that, they were at inside of the, our own 25. So, you know, part of our defense, part of our job as a defense, you know, we had to help them with that field position. So, if we, uh, you know, keep the Michigan on their side of 50, maybe, you know, helps them out more. JJ what? McCarthy entered the day with video game numbers. You guys held them in check. What was the key to containing them? Um, 
we just knew we had to, you know, do our job. You're containing, contain, because these, uh, you know, McCarthy and his running backs, they like to go up the middle and then bounce, you know, right, and the, they'll bounce quick, they'll bounce, bounce fast. Um, so, I mean, we knew we had to shut them down. You know, I think the, you know, part about it that we did was, you know, everyone really did their job, like I've been saying, you know, the D-linemen stuffed those holes and the linebackers stuffed those holes on the inside so that, you know, the DBs, uh, stars, safeties could, you know, contain, right, and then we'll just, you know, make plays from there. But, I mean, we did we did our best uh, containing and stopping the run, and I think we did a good job. What did you think of the grounding call on Talia? Um, I mean, it was, it's a rough call. I feel like you can't make it at, made that call at that point of the game, but, I mean, you know, also, that's the call that was made, so we got to play with it, you know. We got to go by it. So, I mean, I don't have any uh, – all the calls were good calls. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> For the Nebraska game, last game, you know, defense got together and we were really hyped and jumping around in the first play. We got a little fumble and fumble recovery. So, you know, we try to, you know, get that right. Today we had the offense with us and, um, you know, hope that everybody would uh, drive up with the energy. So, yeah.